Okay, now that we've got our um, add giga button down, what we need to do is we need to figure out what we're going to do with our gigas. So first off, we need to hide our original giga. So we're going to go back to our green flag and then say hide. Um, so that's over here. Um, we're going to hide that. And now the gigas are launched by the add giga button. So new gigas show up and when I start as a clone. So the first thing we need to do is we need to keep count of our gigas. So we're going to go back to variables and we're going to create a new category of variables. So right now I'm kind of putting all my grass variables under this guy, but I'm going to put all my giga variables under here. So one of the uh, pieces of data that I'm going to need is um, the uh, number of gigas. So giga count. And this will be for all sprites. And I may want to have a max number of gigas just to make sure that the program doesn't overload. Max number gigas. So giga count is going to start at zero. I'm going to say we can't have any more than um, 100 gigas uh, at any one time. Or maybe, let's say 200 actually. 200 gigas, which would be a lot, but 200 gigas at any one time. Um, and then there are probably some other variables I will need, but I will come up with those uh, a little bit later, what those variables should be. So um, first thing I need to do is I need to say when I start as a clone, um, I need to increase the giga count number. So control, when I start as a clone, so increase the giga count number. So this is change not max number of gigas, but change the giga count by one. And then I'm going to do something where I want the gigas to get old. I want them to have an age and I want them to have energy that decreases. So the idea is that they have an age that goes up by every second, um, one by every second, and they have an energy that goes down um, every second. So I need to make some more variables. So if I go to, oops, this is in the wrong place. This should be on giga. Um, so when gigas start, when I start as a clone, but the variables I need, um, so in addition to set giga count and max number of gigas, I need a couple more variables. One is, um, oh, this is interesting. I actually need to create a variable over here. Um, so hmm, when I start as a clone, well, I'm going to say make a variable and this variable is going to be for this sprite only. So my age for this sprite only, and I'm going to set my age to zero. And when I start as a clone, I'm going to make another variable for this sprite only, my energy level. Okay. So when I start as a clone, I'm going to set my age to zero, and I'm going to set my energy level to kind of a starting energy level. So what should the starting energy level be? Um, I'm going to go back to variables. Here's my giga variables. I'm going to make a, a variable for all sprites, which is starting energy giga. So this is the amount of energy they start with when they're born. So starting energy giga, let's say it's, I don't know, three. They're going to get more giga from the grass, more energy from the grass when they eat the grass. So when I start as a clone, I'm going to set my age to zero, set my energy level to one, and then I'm going to uh, or set my energy level not to zero, but to starting energy giga. And then I'm going to do something where every second I decrease their energy and increase their age. So I'm going to put a forever control in here. I'm going to wait a second, wait one second. And now after one second has gone by, I'm going to change my energy level by negative one. So my energy is decreasing and I'm going to change my age by one. Notice that both of those variables were below that black line. That meant that they were local variables just for this guy. Everybody's going to have their own age and their own energy level. Okay, what else do I need to do? The other thing I need to do when I start as a clone is I need to go to a random location When I start as a clone, go to a random location. Um, oh, and I have a random function over here, which is go random. 
and I'm going to put that on Giga because I'm going to use that over there. I'm even going to chain use die and put that on Giga too. Right. So, um, so I'm going to when I start as a clone, I'm going to go random. Let's see. Um, control. Where is it? Uh, oh, it's over here. Blocks. I'm going to say go random. What's that hide doing there? Oh, that's some, I see, okay. This hide is here. Um, when I start as a clone, I'm going to go random. I'm gonna change my gig account by one. I can get rid of this. And then I'm going to uh, start moving around, right? I wanna start moving around. So I'm going to choose a direction um, and I'm gonna say turn some random direction between um, one and 360 degrees, right? And then I want to do, uh, I want to make sure I show up. So I'm going to show and control forever. I'm going to say um, move motion, move. Um, now instead of 10 steps, this should also be a variable that I can control, which is giga speed. So I'm going to go back here. This is my giga variables. I'm going to create another variable. Don't worry about the fact you're making so many variables. As long as you keep track of them, you're great. So my new variable is giga speed. And this is for all sprites. And giga speed is going to be set to one. So I want gigas to move relatively slowly. Back to my giga. And he is going to move giga speed forever. Okay, so let's go ahead and start my thing here. My grass grows and I can launch a giga. Okay, so right now my gigas live forever. They will not, I'm going to hide these variables. Click, 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 click. Okay, so a couple things happen. Um, one is they get stuck on the walls. Uh, two, they never die. Um, and then three, they turn upside down. So first I'm going to fix the upside down thing. If I just click this, this means let the sprite turn. I go here, it means never let the sprite turn. So um, that way they'll always be facing up. I also want it to bounce whenever it hits the walls. So I'm gonna say in motion, if on edge, bounce. Okay, so they keep moving, great. Now, I've got a few other things that I need to do. Um, I need to make them die if they get too old. So I'm gonna have them check their age. Um, and I realize I should put these variables where I set these, I should put them over here. Because if I'm going to check their age, I better make sure that their age is, um, that they have a starting age before I start checking. Okay. But you'll see what I mean by this checking thing. So if uh, the giga's age is greater than giga's lifespan, hmm. Oh, I haven't even created a variable called giga lifespan. So I'm going to go back to my sprites here and say, how long should gigas live? Well, gigas should live, make a variable, which is giga life span. It's for all sprites. And I'm gonna set this to 10 so that they can live for 10 seconds. So here I go to giga, and I'm going to put an if in here. If the giga lifespan is greater than Sorry, the other way around. If the giga's age is greater than the giga lifespan, um, I should change the name of that variable. Let's rename that variable from my age to my giga age so that you know it's a giga thing because we may have other little creatures later. So if my giga age is greater than giga lifespan, then I should die. So I'm going to go to my um, events here and control, let's see, where's, oh, more blocks, die. Although I do see a problem, which is change grass count by negative one. Um, this is because I used it from grass, but I just need to change this to gig account. Um, gig account, change gig account by negative one and die. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this. So they should live for 10 seconds. One, two, three four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! Okay. So let's launch a few more. And it looks like they're going to die. They should all die at different ages, too, by the way. Like, because they weren't all started at the exact same time, they shouldn't all die at the exact same time. The ones that I created later should die later. So this is a way of, of showing you that it's a local variable. See, so check this out. If I create a giga every second, watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They should die every second. One should. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so what have I created so far? Let's just review um, in our uh, Giga thing. So when I start as a clone, I set my eight, my energy level. Uh, I change when I start as a clone. I do this every second. I change my energy level by negative one, and I change my Giga age by one. Okay, that's good. It's also really important that I put this weight here um, because I don't want it to do this stuff first. I want it to wait a second before it even does that. So I could even, just to be really safe, I could say, let's wait like a second before you even start checking this stuff. When I start as a clone, set my giga age to zero, set my energy level to starting energy uh, giga, go to a random place, change giga count by one, pick a random direction, show up, start moving, and if my age is greater than my lifespan, die. Okay, what else should cause death? Um, another thing that should cause death is if your energy level gets to zero. So if my energy, my energy level is um, less than zero, then die. So now my gigas should only last three seconds. When I launch new gigas, they should only last three seconds. One, two, three, die. Die? Yep. One, two, three-ish, die. Okay, excellent. Again, my, ver my variable name, my energy level, should probably be um, my, er, my giga energy level. So you know that it's a giga thing. So I'm going to rename that my energy level. I'm going to hit control and rename, or you could right mouse click rename variable to my giga energy level. Okay. And it automatically changes that here. So, um, all is good. My giga energy level is less than zero. It will die if it's less than zero. So I've got gigas showing up. And then the last thing I want it to do is I want it to be able to eat grass. So is there, when it eats grass, it should collect energy. So um, if grass count, da, 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 if touching giga die, okay, that's good. But I do need to create a certain amount of energy in each blade of grass. Let's see if I've done that. So here's my grass. So um, my grass variables are here. Energy in grass. Energy in grass. Okay, it's for all sprites. And the amount of energy in grass, let's just say for now that it's five. You get five units of energy if you eat grass. Okay, so um, if touch, so I need to add another if statement here, control. If touching grass, sprite one. Oh, I should rename that. That's a bad name for the sprite. So if touching grass, okay. oh here, if touching grass, it updated it. If touching grass, then um, I'm going to change my energy, change my giga energy level by energy in grass. All right, so let's go ahead and see if this thing is working. Um, And look, the grass died. Did you see that grass die? Oh my goodness. But these videos can only be 15 minutes long and we're about to be done with this video. So we'll talk more about it in a second.